Welcome, welcome, one and all back. I know you're back. Back. Back, 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 back. back for more. That's right. I thought it would be fun to check in with Stephen Piercy. He's had his ups and downs, but one thing's for sure, I've been hearing good things about his 2023 Monsters of Rock singing. And I says, okay, well, you know, the pudding is in the pudding when it, when it comes right down to it. My ears need to hear this for myself, so I thought we would check in with Stephen Piercy doing the great song, Back for More, from that, it was it called Out of the Cellar, that first record that had Round and Round on it and everything. This was my tune. Uh, when my mother's boyfriend bought that cassette and we were listening to Round and Round because it was on the radio, that song had come on back for more. Da, 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 and I was like, man, that's my rocker. Uh, and so I thought it would be fun to get into this. We're going to stop it and start it because that's what we do in the video autopsy slash uh, heavy metal news snacks here is we stop it, we start it, and we talk about things and we have some fun with it. But I've been hearing good things, like he sounded he sounded really good at this thing. So let's get into it. Back for more. Nice uh, digital logo back there. Uh, looking pretty tasty. Here we go. Oh, I guess. It's his bass player go. Is he just, is this his first time up there? He's saying, oh, why is it that bass players always go, I guess I'll just stand back here. Guys, if I could tell you anything, if you're a bass player out there, get right out here front. Shove Stephen Piercy right out of the way and get yourself up there. Because it seems like all bass players go, well, I guess I'm, baby, listen to me. You're the rhythm section. You and the drummer. You're the pie. You're the you're the biggest piece of the pie, okay? They're just the melody people. You're laying down the foundation. Bring yourself out there. This guy wants to get a good shot of you. Go. Red pants. Red pants at night. Angels take flight. Is that a little too loud for us? He's doing one, two, three, and four. He does the hard pumping with the fist. It looks disgusting, like he's in his red pants doing something yucky, but. I heard his voice is sounding pretty tight and right. This bass player done took my advice. I don't know if I psychically went back in time and told him, bitch, get up there and show yourself off to the people. Now he's doing it. Or maybe he was just waiting for Steven, his pal. It's a big stage, baby. You can have some. Thought he's going to kick in there, but they're going to... That was a good jam. Solid recording. Okay, they got, a, they got a good echo on there. It sounded like a nice eagle in a commercial with an American flag. Bro back there playing that belt. Ting, 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 ting. He's like, I play it like that. Tang, tang. He's sounding good. I like it. One thing I like about Tim, maybe he's been getting uh, uh, stem cell research uh, uh, in, in, uh, inseminations. Because it, from the legend has it, he's got some really bad back and hip issues and all that stuff. And he's doing the pogo and everything in this. He's feeling better. So you got that brass knuckles microphone. It's almost like the uh, village people up there. You got Thrasher Bro. He's like Levi's and a, and a rock shirt. That's it. And then you've got maybe, you know, he's kind of like a velvet revolver. He's like, man, I, I rock it like Scott Weiland style. And then you got Blink-182 over here. And he's just going, all the small things. And then you got hard rocker Stephen Piercy. So it's kind of like a village people type of thing going on. 
Dude's rocking them drums. I can tell by the body language he's he's a good drummer. It's crazy the way the, the 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 energy comes on the choruses, right? Back for more. You know, a lot of people don't know what he's saying in those words. Uh, but then it always comes together in the chorus. I saw a little another little video from uh, uh, Autograph, and they're doing the song "Turn Up the Radio" on this Monsters of Rock 2023. And I was thinking to myself, does everyone leave the room when Autograph plays that song? As soon as they got to play that song last, right? Uh, but Everyone just kind of stands there and doesn't know any of the words. And then it goes, you know, it's just fun. Now the hands all go back down. It sounded tight, sounded right, sounded good. He says, this side of the room's got it. Because when I say, you bad, they say, four modes, and they got it. Your turn. If I was over in that side of the room, if I was right here in that side of the room, he would know that I was there. Because I'd look him deep and in, deep into his, in his eyes, in his, in his coffee mocha eyes, and I'd be going, you back. And he would say, this dude is really singing it. Got to have a little breakdown and they would say, I would thank you. Thank you guys, I love you very much. Is he going to say, you guys are the best fucking night we've had on the Monsters of Rock in 2023? We'll see you around. Peace. Is he a... Look at that drummer. He's solid. Is that Bly Blyce Elielson? What's his name? Bloss Eliason? I don't think that's him, but is that him? I don't think it's him. Blink-182 says, let's give it a solo time. Give it over to Thrashman. Drummer bro is just riding that ride. Get back. Oh, boy. When the light goes down and Stephen Piercy is right there glaring through his darkened, you know, glasses at you, and you don't know if he's staring deep into you going, this punk ass bitch don't know this song. So when the light comes on and he's right there in front of you, you got to really go, ah, and then it's just, is he walking away? He's going away? Okay. I can get back to eat my pretzel. Yeah, this is all people that have heard this song 800 times. Go watch footage of them 1990 and watch the hands in the air for that. Standing with my buddy Steve and yeah, I'm rocking. I mean, that's got to be a great night, right? You got to be living the top, you know. You're like, I'm on a cruise that I didn't have to be part of. I'm on stage with Stephen Piercy blistering a solo and we're looking out the lady ladies in the audience to see if we might want to ask him to go play a little backer rack later <laughs>
drummer guy loving him. Oh, is he trying to do a little Zoltan? Don't go there, bro. No one will be like Zoltan. This guy says, my God, Shane has lightened my life up. He came into my brains while we were playing this and some kind of telepathically, and he has really turned my attitude around about life. I'm going to be at the front of the damn stage from now on. What say you? Are you a fan of Stephen Piercy? Do you love Rat? Um, they didn't ever have a, they, they never had a, a second singer, did they, that came in on Rat? It's always been Stephen Piercy or no Rat, right? Uh, get down there, tell me all you know and love about Rat and about Back for More and about Out of the Cellar. Swing it out. Uh, mm, hang out back. Get back. Oh, do, 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 do. You turned away. You're back 